and we went to a composite facility associated with um, uh, Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi and man, you talk about uh, state of the art and it's because of the work that they're doing with the U.S. aeronautics industry, whether it's a, a university like MIT or whether it's Boeing or Lockheed or anybody else, they're really excited about the opportunity to, to consider themselves to be on the cutting edge of aeronautics research because they're allowed to work with us. And uh, the reward they're seeing is um, an incredible pickup in, in the number of women in aerospace. You know, we frequently talk about our, our struggle uh, to try to bring women into the aerospace field. And we, at NASA, we brag about having 20% of the workforce that's female. Uh, I was telling Sandy, I was stunned as a person who lived in the region for one year back in 1997, lived in Kuwait but traveled all over, um, to, to get into a place like Jordan and the United Arab Emirates and find that in excess of 50% of the graduates of, uh, with engineering and science degrees are female. And uh, in the UAE, more than half of the engineers in the field are women. Uh, Speaker of the House, newly elected in UAE as a woman. Uh, I tell you, it, it's eye-opening and it, and it tells me that here in the US, uh, we gotta pick up our game. Uh, to be quite honest. It is not, uh, you know, just like everything else, people do want to be like us. I tell people that all the time. Uh, everybody wants to be like us, but, but there are certain regions of the world that are sneaking up and passing us, and, and I don't want to say that we want to be like them, but, but in the case of uh, diversity in the workforce, I want to be like them. I really do.